back and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use let. Um, they can be used for like muting players, freezing players, or just to keep track of different players. So let's make the list. Public array list string equals and then we'll have to name it, so we'll just go um, mute, and I guess I'll be showing you guys how to mute players. So new array list string, and like that, and you're going to have to import it. Okay. So since we got all those commands, let's make a new one just for this. Get rid of that. Okay, so else if cmd dot get name equals freeze. Okay, and we are going to do this. Player user equals player dot get server. Once I can type it, okay. Dot get player. Args zero. So it'll do the same thing as the feeding and healing command, where all you have to do is start typing someone's name and it'll just guess the rest. Okay, so now that we have that, I guess we will add the argument stage thing too. So if args.lang equals one, it'll do that. And if it's anything else, player dot send message slash instead of okay, this is something that I just pretty much found out. We can just do return false, and I'll show you guys what that'll do after. Okay, so now that we got that, we gotta go if user equals null just to make sure that there is a user and if there's not return false again and then we, we can just go else okay, just gonna clean this up a bit Okay, so if the user is true, the user is on the server, we're going to go, uh, oh, wait, why did I name that freeze? Okay, mute. Just thought about that. So we're going to go mute dot add user dot get name. And that's all we're going to do. So now let's go to the plugin.yml. Okay, so what the return false does is it'll pretty much send the player the usage. So we'll just go like this user and user. So they know when they type the command, it'll say slash command user. Also, we can go like this, and that'll tell them the command and how to use it. Okay, so let's copy this, paste it, and mute. Mute the layer. Okay, um, let's go version 3. I got no clue what I was thinking when I typed that. I'll fix it later at the end of this episode. Okay, so now we have to do a when a player checks. So we're gonna go player chat event. And we'll name this to on player chat. We'll import it. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go if plugin dot mute dot contains e dot get player dot get name e dot set cancel true. So it'll pretty much whatever the player types, it won't actually send it through if their name is under the mute. Let's save that. Okay, and now we're going to make it send the player a message saying that you've been frozen. So e dot. Oh, oh yeah. Wrong class. Player listener. That would explain it. Get player dot send message. You have been muted. Okay. So let's export it. Test plugin. I'll just use craft pack for the name. Okay, and then we go and start up our server. I go and start up my server. Okay, refresh. And it should be right there. Well, I'll pause the recording and continue it once I figure this out. Okay, so I ended up figuring it out. Forgot that the router got turned off last night, so the IP got changed. Okay, so we still got the welcome to my server. Still have an updated bucket. We'll go mute, XX snipers, and then. You have been muted. Did I put an L in there? And I did. Okay. So now they're muted. But at the moment, there's absolutely no way to unmute them. And that's when this will come in. So if uh, user.getName. Okay, if mute dot contains user dot get name, it'll go mute dot remove. Ah, can't type user dot get name. And if it doesn't, then it'll add. Okay, so let's export that. Now did I export the right plugin? No, I did not. Okay, so let's reload. And after I reload, the Rayless and everything got light. So, so let's mute. Okay, and then mute. Okay. So that's it for array lists and how to mute players. It's pretty much the same with freeze, but instead of on player chat, you'll go player move. Import it and e dot. So you can do set cancelled. Some people will say not to, some people do. I just find it easier just to go e dot get player dot 
teleport. Because I can't think of how to spell that at the moment. And e dot get player dot get location. So that's gonna teleport the player to its own location. And we'll go you have been frozen. And then we can change this to freeze. So then we have to open up the plugin. And go freeze. Oh, well, I'll show you guys that. Okay. Well, I'll find a way to make it actually tell you the command. Actually, let's just look at this right now. Do I have it in there? No, we don't. I have it in here. Okay, so lowercase c. That block. Make all those lower. And we'll go freeze the player. Export. Next. Test. And the only warning is because we're no longer looking, or it's no longer using the player chat. So we'll go just reload. Okay. And whenever you try to move, you have been frozen. You just can't turn around unless you're going really slow. So unfreeze me. Okay. Um next episode. I'm not too sure what I'll or what I'm gonna be doing, but I'll find something and hopefully post it not as long as you guys waited for this one. Okay, see ya.